everybody. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to create a drawing part file for the sketches that we've been working on for Unit 2.4. Um, this is multi-view sketching in Introduction to Engineering Design. So, so far in Fusion 360, we have created the five parts from our notes. And now we want to get those so we can see the isometric view and the multi-view, the orthographic projections, all on one document. So how do we do that? Well, first of all, we have to start with the new design. So notice this is untitled. This is not one that I've worked on previously. And I need to save first. Okay, I'm going to name this something like um, all multi-view parts. Okay, something that I'm going to remember later on. I'm going to hit save. And now this thing is named and I can start manipulating this file. Now on the Windows machine, it's going to be different than on your MacBooks that you have. On your MacBooks, you're going to simply right click on each part and you're going to insert into current design. It's going to line things up, make sure it's in the correct orientation so that I have this in the correct isometric view. It should be the same view that you drew on paper earlier in the notes. And I'm just going to click OK. And I'm going to repeat the process for multi-view 2, 3, 4, and 5. They're going to stack up on top of each other. They're actually embedded inside of each other, but that's perfectly fine. We don't need to worry about that for now. What I'm really most interested in is, is it in the correct orientation? So you'll notice that I'm adding all five of these. They're stacked one on top of each other. And when all is said and done, I should have something that looks like this. I'm going to go ahead and click Save Now. Now the reason I did that though is because now I can come up here to the model tab and I can change and say instead of working on the models, I want to work on a drawing file from a design. It's going to ask what I want to choose. If I have this box checked that says full assembly, it's going to auto select all five parts that we already included. We're going to create a new template from scratch. ASME standards means that we're basically going to be working with English units that are measured in inches, which is what we use to create these parts. And most of what we do in Introduction to Engineering Design is going to be in inches. I do want to change the sheet size to 8.5 by 11, but I'm going to choose the second option that says 11 by 8.5. That way it's wide instead of tall. Landscape view. I'll choose OK. This is going to work for a second. But here we go. There we go. So. I'm going to go ahead and minimize this for now so you can see full screen. I have this drawing file. This is an 11 by 8 and a half sheet of paper. So if I printed it, it would be one sheet of paper. There we have a title block at the bottom. All multi-view parts is the name of the drawing file. And it has my project folder included as well. Now, we're going to go up and we're going to place a base view. And I'm going to come over here. I'm going to choose the model. I found for mine, now you're, you're going to have to change your scale eventually, but I found for mine the scale that works best is something about 1.5. And that makes it one and a half times the actual size of the part that I drew. I do need to change the orientation is front. The style, though, needs to include hidden lines. So I'm going to go ahead and click this. I'm going to place the front view somewhere down around this area. I click and I choose OK. Now. This is all five sets of front views stacked on top of each other, which is why I have the shape that I do. But notice that I can go through and I can uncheck everything but the first one, and that would give me the front view of just the first shape that we created. Or I can have all five, right? So here we go. We're going to look at just the first one. And now that I have the first one by itself, I'm going to click on Projected View. It wants to know what do I want to project? What is the parent? that I want to project. So I'm going to come down here, I'm going to select the front view, and then I'm just going to move my mouse upward, and I'm going to click one, two, three times. I'm going to right click and choose OK, and I've just created my orthographic projections and my isometric view for this object. I'm going to double click on the isometric view, because for that one and that one alone, we want to have the shaded view. I choose close, and I've now created my set of projections that we drew by hand earlier in the notes. Now, here's the deal. Why do we do all five of these if I was just going to do one? Because at the bottom of the screen, you have the ability to add extra pages. So I'm going to add one, two, three, four more pages. And I'm going to go through the same process on each of these pages. So the second page will be part two, the third page will be part three, and so on and so forth. So on part two, just to repeat the process quickly, Base view, 
change the scale to 1.5, include hidden lines, place the object here, and choose OK. This time I'm going to uncheck everything but the second shape. Projected view of the front view, top view, right view, isometric. Right click, OK. Double, shade, double, or double click on the ISO view to shade it. And we're done with the second drawing. We're going to repeat this process for all five. I'm going to skip that for now. But the reason that we're doing this is because in the end, you're going to choose Output PDF. You want to output all sheets. In fact, I'll have it open it up for us. And we're going to choose OK. It's going to ask you where to save it. I'll save it right here. I already have one open. Okay, I'll choose a different name, open it up. Give it a name that you're going to remember. So I would call it all multi view parts. In fact, I should do that here since I'm trying to mimic what you're doing here. All multi view parts. And it'll open up a PDF that looks like this. And I have now five sheets each of which will have its own set of drawings. And of course, I didn't do three, four, or five, right? So when you turn this in, I can scroll from one page to the next and see all five of these in a single document that's five pages long. And that's why we're trying to create this. Hopefully that makes sense. That's the process that I want you to go through. Please make sure you get this done, even though it's not for points, because we will use this later on to learn how to dimension parts. If you have any questions, feel free to ask.